Yeah, I think you can see that it's December, what? December 6, 2047 at night, 2022. And here I am. Uh, let me zoom into the screen. I'm playing a tape in the background. Hopefully you can hear it, maybe. Is that right? No, cool. Okay. So there's that. Here's my folder. See so my home screen. Right here. There it, oh, nope. Wrong thing. Here's the home screen. Here's the folder. This is the folder I want to look at. And then I want to go here and open with that. Okay. So now, if that's not too loud in the background, I'm going to use the keyboard and the mouse. And this is the front of this model here. Looks like that. I can't do anything with the with the um, with the tuner window. It's just going to be like that. Here's the top of it. Again, it's a. Um, I'll get to what the model number is in a moment. Actually, it's a Sanyo MRU4GP, aka. Sanyo M7790, but as you can see this is just cloudy and I can't undo that cloudiness and I don't want to try and take this apart because it's glued in place. Anyway, this model has line-in radio and tape, stereo-wide, stereo and mono, metal tape capability, CRO2, and then it's a 12-centimeter uh, speaker. It's got your bass, treble, balance, volume, it's got Dolby, it's got FM mute, FM and AM, it's got a tuning knob, it's got a mic mixing, it's full auto stop, and it's got a 15 music uh, music search. So I'll see that in the front here. And it's got 15 up to 15 selectable um, like that. Okay. Moving along, back to that, there's that end. Here's the input end. It's got full complement of left and right. I mean, well, in and out. It's got headphones, two sets of headphone jacks, two microphone jacks, DC input, and your beat cancel. I'm using this plug right now. I'm playing through a pair of Sony speakers. Okay, there's the back with the battery cover open. Again, it's that model. All right. Yep, that model. Okay. So a Japanese domestic model. Alright. There's the bottom. Alright. There's the top again. Okay. Here's the back. The screws come out like this. Just the one short one goes in the battery compartment. All the rest are long. And that's the only thing you need to unplug right there, which is the antenna wire. Okay, it goes into the radio. There's the inside the back cover. It's inside the back of the front. And then here's just what the old bells look like. I like taking these pictures so I know what's happening. And then here's the radio. Here's how the speaker goes in. Notice I'm already getting dirty in my pants with black stuff. Anyway, that's the speaker input right there. And this is just a picture of those switches and that where that wire goes. That wire plugs in there and goes to the front. You have to just undo that and you need to stick a little pin in between here to get that out. Okay. Then here is just the inside cover of both speakers. Like that. And here's the, the radio comes out as a chassis, so it looks like that. Here's the front of it. Okay. Here now, one of these. This is the, I believe it's the rewind button. I didn't take enough pictures of this, but this is broken. I did try gluing it with bonding. I'll show that later on. Uh, this is just a picture of the tape deck before you take it apart. And another view. Here's a view with that part removed, and I put the screws back in just to keep track of the screws. And anyway, that's that. I took a picture of the motor wires because this one has very short wires and I've already, anyway. And this is just a picture of that plug that goes back to the front for the sound display thing. Here's a picture of the, uh, uh, the 
anyway. There's no, there is a picture of the tape deck because it's very hard to get out because it's it's just very hard to do. Another picture because you want to make sure of where this part goes because you have to remove that as well as this part here. And here I'm just getting a picture of that micro switch, the orientation of it to make sure I put it back in correctly. And this is the uh, pull off little electromagnetic thing and you have to be careful of this that spring right there, don't lose it, you need that. All right, and then, um, so here we're taking it apart some more. That was an errant picture. Here's a picture I was trying to take, it just, so there is with the old belt still on there. Here's a flash picture of the exact same thing. And, anyway. And then here is another picture of, just another view of this to make sure this is again the right orientation and where all these wires go and such. Okay. This is the belt I put in to make it work correctly. And it takes, a, I mean, it has to be a 90 millimeter belt to go from the motor. Well, here's an overview. You need a 90 millimeter to go around the flywheel back to the motor. All right. And the underside belt is something smaller, it's common. So here I'm checking the tension of the belt, the, the belt I just showed a picture of. I'm just checking the tension to make sure it's correct before I get it all back together. And then like I said, I, I tried uh, gluing this one right here with Bondic. Okay. It may hold up, it may not, I'm not sure. Yes, I cleaned the speakers. Here it is playing tonight. Okay, so I don't know what picture I started with. Uh, 11 27. So November 27, this thing's been on my table until tonight. I'll probably tomorrow I'll have time to put it back together. So I'll leave it there. Move the camera down. Okay, this wide out. Good. Seven minutes is not too long. All right. So here it's been playing all this time. And let me just move the camera and everything get a better close up. Okay. So like that. Well. Okay. What I want to show is we'll see here. Can we get, can we get closer? Yeah. So it's working with the happy little demonstration tape. And if you hit this, you know, one, two. Hit rewind. Hit a rewind. Can you see the counter thing? It counted off one already. I really can't up, up, the, up this too much, but like that. Any day now. There it goes. Yay! So there it is, the beginning of that. I crank the, like I said, I'm playing this through a pair of Sony speakers. Where the side speakers go? Oh, you can't. There they are. Okay. Right. Okay, hi. Hello. And then, um, this will also rewind. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. It'll, it'll cue and review. Cue, review. And if you do this, it'll zip to the next song. That's fast forwarding. Okay. So I just need now to have some more time to put this thing back together. I just hope that the uh, the bonding worked on that one switch. The uh, rewind, I think it is. All right. So here, let me take it off the camera. Oops. Okay. So. Hey, good night. Good night. So there it is. There's the inside of it. it's working. It's been nine minutes. Like I said, this is the, see, hit that, and then you hit this, and it goes back and plays it again. Okay, so, have to be quiet because it's late at night and you got to go to bed. Good night, hope you enjoyed. I'm going to put this finger back together when I get a chance. I have more time. That's what it is. Okay.
Use the speakers to it. And oh, there it is right there. And like I said, um, which one is it? It's this one here. Oh, can't well do it. Well, I hope this doesn't fail, but it may fail. Okay. Oh, and then this one here. See, what is it? This. See, this side has a pin for the metal tab, but this one doesn't, so it's broke off there. So, and then of course this has a pull auto stop, so it just stopped all by itself. All right, that's it. Good day. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.